Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Sentinel Realbot number 7, Bio Armor Black Liger, Juo Black Liger. Juo Black Liger comes from the Jushin Liger universe. Unfortunately, there is not a lot of information out there about this character. I honestly can't remember Juo appeared on the 1989 show, Jushin Liger, also known as Bio Armor Liger. Furthermore, this character does not appear in the Jushin Liger manga. This leads me to believe this figure was specifically created for the Realbot release as a rival for Jushin Liger. So, if you guys know anything at all about Juo, please let us all know in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. But, nonetheless, Sentinel Realbot number 7, Bio Armor Black Liger, Juo Black Liger, is another fantastic release in the Realbot line. Jewel Black Liger has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic pay applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first take a look at Jewel Black Liger's accessories. Juo Black Liger comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of holding hands, a pair of punching effect parts, a pair of Liger claws, one Black Liger sword, one Black Liger shield, one Black Liger spear, and one stand. So first let's take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt of fantastic paint apps, a very nice metallic silver, and a very nice weather gray on the inner palm. The next pair of hands are the holding hands. We have the same great sculpt and same great paps going on. Very nice. These are attached via a ball joint peg. We'll cover that shortly. So moving forward, we have the punching effect parts. These are absolutely fantastic. A very nice metallic red and a very nice energy surging sculpt. So definitely very cool. To attach these, we'll grab our figure. These wrap around the fist and the forearm. Now this is a little bit disappointing. Been better if these pegged in, but still we have is very cool. So you can tell it's a little bit finicky and it's really hard to get this to stay all the way. So do be aware of that. Granted, these are malleable, but still, it takes too much effort to get this all in place. So, next time, please peg this in, but still, it's very cool. The next accessory are the pair of Liger Claws. These have an absolutely fantastic sculpt of fantastic paint apps, a very nice claw sculpt, and a very nice metallic silver here. Definitely very cool. To attach these, we'll grab our figure out again. We're going to pop up the whole fist assembly here, so we'll focus that a lot better. Pull everything off, including the stem here. We're going to get the stem by itself, focus this, get everything separate like so, and we'll get it all out and get the fist out of here too, which can be pretty tough, so kind of bear with me here. It's one of the woes you might face with this figure, so we'll get it all out, and this hurts your fingernails if you don't have much of any, so working it, and there we have that, so very nice. So make sure this stem is straight first, so we'll get that as straight as possible, so very nice there. Then we'll grab the claw here. We're going to put the stem through the claw hole. Peg that in like so. Then we'll put it into the forearm here. So this is pretty tough and kind of finicky. So again, please bear with me. And we'll see if we get that into place. And there we have that. So now we're going to lock it in with one of our new hands here. And we'll grab a holding hand. Peg it in with the holding hand. And we'll see if we can keep it all in place. If the stem moves, this is going to pop all out like it's doing right now. So again, be careful with this. This is very tough to do. And again, this is something else that could have been better implemented, but still what we have is very nice. Again, it's just a lot of hard effort getting everything set up. So let's see if we can get this on yet again. So we will push the stem out, straighten it up as best we possibly can. And we're going to peg that back into the forearm here. And hopefully it'll click into place. It's a hard click or a soft click. Wow, this is very, very tough. But again, it is really good to see this so you know what you may face when picking up this figure. So we have that in. There we go. So we'll grab our new holding hand here. We're going to use it to lock it in place. So hopefully the stem does not move because it'll slide out. So let's get that in. And there we have that. Now, granted, if you don't lock everything down, the claw will spin freely, as you can see here, so do be aware of that. But moving forward, though, we're going to hinge the claw down here. It looks absolutely fantastic once attached, so definitely very cool there. The next accessory is the Black Liger Sword and Shield. So, both accessories are absolutely fantastic. We have a very nice metallic gunmetal finish, a very nice metallic silver, and a very nice metallic red here. Definitely very cool. So for the sword here, it's actually inside of the shield. We can slide this right on out. So very nice storage going on. To attach this, we're going to pop off the end cap here. And it's kind of hard to get this off as well. So we have that. Force it into the holding hand. Grab our figure here. And what we're going to do, we're going to focus this yet again. And it's a very nice and very firm connection. So we'll spin this around. And we're going to push that right into the hand. Like so. so very nice there. So we can keep that all in focus there, working very close. 
Then we'll go ahead and cap this off. Grab our figure out again. And we're just gonna put the cap on. And that's it. And also this cap piece is actually grooved, so it goes on a certain way, so. Very nice there. Definitely very cool. Next is the shield. The shield attaches two different points to the figure. So first we have the circular ring here. It's very nice, we open this up. And you'll notice there's two pegs here. There's actually peg holes underneath the forearm. So we have our figure here, you see the two peg holes here. Hook this all in together. And push that in like so. Wrap it up and that's it. Also this point is articulated as well, so we can slide this up and down throughout the shield. The second point of attachment is the handle here at the bottom. It can be held by either of the holding hands. So very nice there, a very nice shield indeed. The next accessory is the Black Liger Spear. It's absolutely fantastic here. We have a very nice metallic purple, silver, and red. Definitely very cool. To attach this, we'll grab our figure here. We're gonna get the sword out of the way, so we'll get this out. Throw that sword over there. So for the spear, we have to separate this into two. So, we'll pull this apart. Also to note, this spear can be dual wielded, which is very nice. But one thing that's an issue though, when dual wielding this, these white parts are exposed. I wish we had some caps at least, but still it's very cool. So we'll keep with the full spear first. So we'll peg this all into the hand. Pretty simple, a very nice tight connection as you can see. Let's go ahead and complete the spear here. And peg that on. Also it's grooved. And that's it. So it's absolutely fantastic here. Definitely very cool. Now to dual wield this, what we we'll do, we'll pop this all off and remove this purple section too. So this is how we would dual wield the spear. So. Very nicely done. Definitely very cool. The final accessory is the stand. It is the same great Reobot stand as always. So first the base is a very nice grid here. So pretty cool there. This neck here can attach to all four sides of the base, which is very nice. The neck is very sturdy. And then at the top here, the clips can go into two different positions. First, we have an articulated position. So we'll focus this so we can twist and spin this freely, which is very sturdy. And then we have a stationary position. We'll pop this off spin it around, and now it's stationary, so definitely very cool there. So, now let's put Juo in a very nice jumping pose. So now we have Juo Black Liger in a nice jumping pose, looks absolutely fantastic. Juo looks very strong and menacing here in the air, so it's definitely very cool. Furthermore, the robot stands are nice as always, very nice strong base, a very nice sturdy neck, and very nice strong clip, so it's definitely very cool. Now I really do wish though the base was more customized for Juo, but what we have at the end of the day is very cool. So, now we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Juo Black Liger figure itself. Juo Black Liger has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first we start with the head. So we can look left, we can look right, very far down, we can't look up too high because the hair is blocked by the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads rotate freely, 360 rotation going on for the arms, arms come out 90 degrees, there's an the entire arm swivel. An ever so slight upper bicep swivel, very nice double jointed elbows, the fists are on ball joint pegs so you can tilt and spin freely, and the upper chest lean backwards about this much, forwards this much, twist side to side and lean side to side, and lower waist so we can twist side to side, for the legs we can kick forward about this much, backwards this much, and out to the side this much, also there's a thigh swivel. Now I must admit the legs do seem a little bit limited, but this figure can strike a lot of dynamic poses, so it's pretty cool there. Very nice double jointed knees, the feet can tilt and swivel, and the toes are articulated as well. So a very nice hyper articulated Juo Black Liger figure, this is definitely very cool. Now in terms of sculpt and paint apps, this is absolutely fantastic here. A very nice muscular sculpt, very nice detail going on for the armor pieces here, and a simply stunning sculpt for the hair, so this is very nicely done. In terms of paint apps, a very nice vibrant metallic silver and red for the armor pieces here, definitely very cool, very nice vibrant gold. An absolutely fantastic sculpt and a very nice gray and weathered look for the rest of the body. So this is definitely very cool. A very, very, very nicely done figure here. I really do wish I knew more about Juo Black Liger, but I do not. So again, in the comments below, please let us all know what you know about Juo Black Liger. It'd be much appreciated, but still very cool. So now we have the Juo Black Liger figure out of the way. Let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, Sentinel Realbot number 7, BioArmor Black Riger, Juo Black Liger, is another fantastic release in the Realbot line. Juo Black Liger has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, be sure to check out the 1989 show, Jushin Liger, also known as BioArmor Riger. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.